So Jess, it seems like only yesterday that you signed for us, now you're leaving. <laughs> um, is it going to be emotional? Um, yeah, yeah, I think it will be. I think this week already is a little bit emotional for me. Um, just because it's so fast, we go game, game, then I go on camp and then I leave. So there's not much time to do the, the processing of, of that. Um, so yeah, I would probably be lying if I said that it wasn't it wasn't um, a little bit yeah emotional to, to to leave and go back. And of course, you played all over the world. What's it been like playing in the WSL? Yeah, it's been fun. It's been it's been good coming back and and playing in here and seeing the growth that this league has had over the years. Um, and you know, I still think it's it's going to keep getting better and better, which is which is uh, super exciting. Um, but it's just been really nice to be back home and playing home again. Um, I haven't done that for a while, so I really enjoyed it. And uh, with the likes of yourself and Alex Morgan, big names from the NWSL, coming over to the Women's Super League, uh, do you think it's helped shine a light on the top flight of English football? Yeah, I think so. I think all of the, the girls that came over from the NWSL, um, you know, Sam, Rose, Tobin, Press... Uh, even Rachel Daly, you know, the the Aussies that have come over. What it's helped and you can see is that like our games now are being played in America now because they want to see the Americans play. They're being played on Optus Sport in Australia because they want to see the Aussies play. That only helps the growth of, of this league um, when you bring those players over. Even if it's for a short period of time, your league becomes far more visible um, globally so it would be it would be people lying if they didn't say that these players coming over have had a huge huge boost um, on this game and regardless of whether we leave or not of course uh, you've been a big part of the club's campaign this year how easy was it transitioning from OL Reign to Reading <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a tough transition initially especially with Covid and all of the protocols and rules with COVID, um, I was at a little bit of a panic attack when I had to wash my own kit for a little bit. <laughs> um, no, it, it was a little tough at the beginning. Um, and obviously, weather makes it hard for me because I don't really like the cold either. But what I will say is that the, the group of girls here, the coaching staff, um, they really did do a great job in making me kind of um, feel comfortable and, and, and an easy, easier transition to making sure that I can put some performances on, on the pitch. Well, uh, talking of the, the group of girls, you spent a lot of time uh, with your fellow Welsh internationals at the club, uh, six of you at the last count. Uh, has it been uh, like being back home? Yeah, yeah it has. It's been, um, it's been great spending time with, with me Welsh girls. Um, I forget how, because I only see them on camp, I forget what they're like on a day-to-day -day basis and, and what they're like from a, from a human perspective. And I remember just how good of people they are um, and how much I miss, really, when I'm not around all the time. Um, they're also crazy, so that's fun. But it's been really, really nice for me to really feel like I'm home here and then I get to go home all the time. So. This eight months has been, um, has been, you know, fantastic. And uh, and what's it been like working with Kelly Chambers and the coaching staff at Reading? How's that differed from what you're you're used to? Yeah, I've actually really enjoyed um, both Kelly and and her coaching staff. I like the way that they do their their coaching and their detail. Um, you know, they have different kind of focuses. Um, on attacking and defending, they they want to be a team that is very brave and progressive with the ball, um, which I really really like, obviously. Um, but I like the I like the difference in their coaching too. Like Kelly, obviously, coaches in a certain way. She's a little bit more tactful in the way that she approaches us from a man management perspective. And then you have a coaching staff that are really really good with their football detail. Um, which I really enjoy and they do a lot of individual stuff which is really helpful so the balance of the two um, for me personally like works like I get it I enjoy it a lot so it was a really pleasant surprise really that I, I've enjoyed them as much because um, I didn't know what to expect 
um, but it's been really, really great working with them. Well, you've had a fantastic run at Reading uh, in particular. Being nominated for Player of the Month in December, um, there was an away win against Manchester United, draws with top sides like Arsenal and Man City. Uh, what have been your personal highlights? Look, I think for me personally, it, it wouldn't be like a result or, or, or a nomination or anything like that. I've just, I've just really enjoyed playing um, again um, and playing with this these kind of group of girls like I've seen players in this squad progress already from just being here for six months like I've seen them get better and better I've seen people come out of their shell from a personal perspective I've just really enjoyed that that has been a highlight for me you know I've really enjoyed playing with Haz um, and I think she's got like progressed through this season um, which is great for me and working with Lily again, you know, working with Grace, getting to work with Farah, um, you know, Farah's Farah. So it was nice to do that. So I personally enjoy that um, far more than the results at this minute because I think this team can still, needs to get more consistent. And when you can get consistent, you enjoy those results way more because otherwise it's like a yo-yo. You know, I haven't got the mental capacity for the yo-yo in that we're doing at the moment. So um, I take my highlights from the, the other stuff. Fantastic. And finally, um, what would be your message to fans for next season when they'll hopefully be able to come to the Medeski to watch Reading Women? Yeah, look, I think I'd say that um, the team like needs you, for one. When I, I think when there was like 200-odd fans for one game, um, that made a huge difference for us. So never underestimate the importance of you guys for the girls. And also, you know, like after COVID and you get back to normality, I'd say why not try something different and really get behind the girls. The women's game is growing massively. Um, it's going to be everywhere whether you like it or not. So you might as well just get on board and get down to the Majeski.